Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and we're going to Disneyland today. girl Becky and we are currently at Disneyland so I did go on a few rides and I just wanted a little break uh, because there's just so many rides that are going on and I thought it would be a great excuse to take a break while also sketch a little bit of the park I have to admit that the park is a little bit crowded but still I need to find a view that is maybe a little bit less conspicuous and also just not too many people around in order for me to sketch in peace and in fact, the view that I got actually is not a very iconic Disney view. But at the same time, it is a part of Disney that uh, I think just the architecture of these buildings around Disneyland are quite different from the architecture of Hong Kong. So for me personally, I find it really interesting because I get to see a lot of the roof details and also the trinkets that go on top of the roof. And we don't really see much of that in Hong Kong because we tend to have really high rises. So it's a really interesting challenge and I'm just so drawn with this bit. So this is a preview of the view that we are going to sketch today and although it doesn't seem like much I do think that the roof has a little bit of unique characteristics that I do want to try and include in the sketch. I know that dry brushing is always going to be a challenge with a water brush but we will make do with what we can. Oh my gosh it feels so good to just stay in one spot and just do a little bit of sketching because all day in Disneyland, wherever I went, there were just lines after lines after lines. And I didn't understand why, because this was actually on a Wednesday. I specifically took a day off work in order to be able to go to Disneyland and hopefully go to all of the rides with no crowds. Anyhow, this is a ride that is on the Mystic Manor area. so. Apparently, this is a ride that was curated specifically for Hong Kong Disneyland. So it's kind of a moving cart ride. You get to tour this house that's or this manor that's filled with a lot of these ancient artifacts that come to life because Alfred the monkey decides to open up a chest that has some sort of magical tingly spells that just goes all around the manor and brings objects to life. So there's freezing things, uh, shooting arrows, there is paintings that can move. And essentially this is the whole ride. I never really sketched anything in Disneyland really so because this is unique to Hong Kong I thought I would give this one a go and also because there's not a lot of people in this area and I kind of needed a more spacious place to stand in the middle not in the middle somewhat on the middle ish of the road or next to a bench in order to sketch because I needed to put down all my supplies and my backpack and my water bottle and everything somewhere So in the sketch, I started off with the centerpiece just to make sure that I have space to build everything around it. But for the sketch, I would like to go from background to foreground as is recommended with a lot of watercolor paintings is because you want to get the back elements first or the lightest elements first, which in this case is the sky. It was a bit of a cloudy day, so it was overcast. It wasn't rainy, it wasn't sunny, so I thought I would just 
put the sky gray with the tiniest hint of blue. Rooftops and these um, decorations on top of the manor has a color scheme. I thought this time I would go by color. So I would just pick a color and then I would just paint that color everywhere I see it in this scene. So I started with the orange and then I move on to the purple and there's a lot of different colors here at play but really what it boils down to is purple, orange, and green. These were the three main colors that I saw and when I tried to merge all the shades together I realized that it's a bit hard to tell the dimensions of the building which means that I need to add some shadow elements and some light elements to show which parts of the rooftop was hit by the shadow, which part was hit by the sun, not hit by the shadow, which part is in the shadow and which part is hit by the sun essentially. And that I would say is the trickiest bit because you also don't want to make it too contrasting. You want to make it a little bit more subtle and just enough to give you information about what is going on in this scene. The longest step of this sketch is actually to putting on the, all the details because the shapes are pretty simple. There are just roofs and roof shapes stacked against each other. So they're quite straightforward really and they're just lines. But if I just left it at that, then this piece I think wouldn't really come to life because there wasn't a lot of uh, detail to it. So I did spend some time trying to draw in the shape of the rooftop quote-unquote tiles and because all these shapes are in a directional shape or they give some sort of directional feel I was able to also build an additional or give some additional information in my sketch by by showing where the directions of the lines are going which also indicates the direction of the plane of the roof itself. I think I could spend forever on this but because I didn't want to stay here and sketch forever because you know I gotta go back and make more YouTube videos for you guys. Duh. So I did try to stick with what was necessary. I stuck to the biggest lines and then for the intricate shapes or the mini fences that are on the rooftop I just tried to allude to them by creating these sort of arky shapes with yellow ochre and white gouache which I think makes a good faux yellow. Oh actually metallics would be cool to use in this instance. Next time. But yeah if I wanted to I could also shade all these bits but I think for now I'm happy with how this is turning out. <laughs> And that is going to be it for today's sketching. I hope you enjoyed the process and you get to see how I managed to build the layers up one by one. I think patience really does go a long way when it comes to sketching architecture because there's just a lot of lines and it does take a little bit more time than expressive sketching. But it's fun regardless and I do enjoy having to lay in the layers bit by bit and getting the color profile in. As always, if you'd like to see more of this, you can stay tuned to this channel where I upload twice a week and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye, happy sketching.